In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called using the Nernst equation to calculate non-standard cell voltage. The Nernst equation is E equals E standard minus 0 0.0257 over N times the natural log of Q. There's actually a second version of the Nernst equation that uses the LOG log, and in that equation, this number is a little bit different. Either one of these equations is gonna give you the same result. So to solve this problem, um, we're being asked to calculate the non-standard voltage. To, to do that, we need to know the standard cell voltage. We need to know N, which is the number of electrons that are being exchanged in the redox reaction. And we also need to know Q, the reaction quotient. We haven't thought about Q for quite a while. So to begin with, let's just go ahead and start by calculating the, the voltage, the standard voltage, E standard. Um, we're gonna do that in the traditional way, the way that we have been doing it. E standard equals the voltage at the cathode minus the voltage at the anode. And as a reminder, the reduction reaction is the one that takes place at the cathode. So the first thing that we wanna do on our table of half reactions is find our reduction reaction. If we look at this overall reaction, our chromium going to chromium is the reduction reaction. If you're having a hard time seeing that, I'll talk about that a little bit more when we look at our reduction potential table. Here is the correct chromium reaction. You do want to be a little bit careful because there are actually three chromium reactions, so make sure that you're picking the right one. The one that we're looking for is the reaction that takes place um, between chromium 3 plus and the chromium atom. So first of all, um, the reason that we know that this is a reduction reaction, one of the easiest ways, is that this equation is written in the same order as our overall equation. In this equation, we have chromium 3 plus on the left, and here we also have chromium 3 plus on the left. And remember that all of the equations in this table, they are all written as reductions. The voltage for this reduction reaction is negative 0.744 volts. Now let's go find the reaction that's taking place at the anode. The anode is the reaction that occurs between the calcium and calcium two plus. This is an oxidation reaction. So over here on our table of half reactions, we're gonna look for this reaction in reverse, meaning that we're looking for the calcium two plus on the left-hand side. Uh, and it is right here. Calcium two plus plus two electrons makes calcium solid. This is our anode voltage, negative 2.868. So let's calculate our overall E cell standard. Negative 0.744 minus a negative 2.868 is 2.124 volts. Now, while we have this table of half reactions open, let's also get the value of N. N is the number of moles of electrons that are being exchanged in the overall redox reaction. And one of the easy ways to determine that is by looking at our half reaction. So since we're already on the calcium reaction, we'll just focus on that. In this calcium reaction, um, we can see that there are two electrons that are being exchanged in this particular reaction, but before we just you know drop two right into the equation, let's double check and make sure the stoichiometric coefficients are the same for this equation as they are for our overall equation. Notice in our overall equation, the stoichiometric coefficient for calcium and the calcium ion is three. And in this half reaction, the stoichiometric coefficients are only one. So what, we're, what we did, what somebody did, was take this half reaction and multiply all of the stoichiometric coefficients by three. And that means that we need to do that for the number of electrons as well. So that means we don't have two electrons. Like it says in this equation, we actually have six. So we're gonna make a note of that right here, that N is equal to six, the number of electrons being exchanged. Now um, we have enough information uh, off of that table. We can get rid of the table. We can, the last thing uh, we need to figure out is Q. Q is calculated the same way as K. It is products over reactants, everything being raised to their stoichiometric coefficients, leaving out anything that is a pure solid or a pure liquid, if we happen to have that as well. For this reaction, our product is the calcium two plus ion, and that has a stoichiometric coefficient of three, so it needs to be cubed. We're leaving out the chromium because it's a pure solid. Our reactant is the chromium ion, Cr3+. It's going to be squared because its coefficient is two, and we're leaving out the calcium because it's a solid. 
the value of the concentrations of the calcium and the chromium are given to us in the problem. The value of the calcium concentration is 6.48, and that needs to be cubed. The value of the chromium concentration is 2.42, and that needs to be squared. So let's go ahead and figure out what this is. 6.48 cubed divided by 2.42 squared. 6.48, did that wrong, divided by 2.42 squared is 46.5. This is a unitless number. So now we have everything that we need to solve for E, E standard, which is 2.124 volts minus 0 0.0257 over n, which we decided was 6, times the natural log of q, which is 46.5. You just got to be a little bit careful about getting these entered into your calculator. I'm going to do the natural log of 46.5 first, multiply that by 0 0.0257 divided by 6, and then I'm going to take 2.124 and subtract all of this, all of this right here. And the answer that I get um, to three significant figures is 2.11 volts. Notice that there isn't a built-in unit in this problem, um, so you have to type the unit in yourself.